What's happening? It's your guy King David, Trimaster, Trimaster.com. Here today I'm going to be talking about getting your 808s to cut through a little bit better in the mix. And how you're going to be able to do that is using a little bit of distortion. And um, I'm going to be using uh, a third party plugin, but I'm going to also show you uh, uh, an internal plugin that you can use in Machine 2. I'm going to, hear, I'm going to let you hear the beat real quick before I uh, turn on the uh, effect itself. Listen to the 808s. Itself because right now I have a bypass and I'm gonna solo the drum so you can hear the drum just by itself. distortion and saturation to your 808s is just so it can um, spike your transients in your 808 to give a little sharpness to it to be able to cut through on smaller speakers like headphones, laptop speakers, um, any other small speaker, you know what I'm saying, that you would need that 808 low end to have more presence in your mix. So that's why you would need distortion. And um, the plugin I'm using is Decapitator from Sound Toy. I bought this as a bundle a few years ago <clears throat> from a company, Sound Toy, and um, these are the settings I'm using right here. Cut the low cut all the way down, play with the tone a little bit, the high cut didn't mess with it, kept the output the same, and um, I turned up the max gain, and then I added a little drive to it to give it that um, that uh, uh, distorted sound, just a little bit, because I'm gonna let you hear it maxed all the way up. <clears throat> settings and uh, sound uh, generators in there to be able to play around with to get you that sound that you're looking for or you can dial it in. So um, the capitator, if you have that, put it to use on your 808s and your kick drum um, because it definitely will make a difference in your uh, in your percussion end with your kicks and 808s. Do a lot more, uh, and it's actually, but look at it like this, it's more like food for your 808. You know what I'm saying? It gives it a little bit more spike. You know what I'm saying? A little spice. You know what I'm saying? When you season up your food, you know what I'm saying? You want to spice it up. So, um, kind of look at it as that. Now, here's the, um, the built-in from Native, Native Instruments. And um, you can accomplish the same thing right here. So, you want to turn your focus button on. Um, leave these all the same. Keep it on analog. As you can see, as soon as you open it up, it just brings that up. Now, and the tone and the saturation is where you want to play around with it. Me personally, I played around with it already, and it sounds a little bit better than my uh, Decapitator uh, from uh, Sound Toys. From Sound Toys, and um, it just, for some reason, it just sounds a little bit better. So, check it out. <laughs>
you see as I play with that definition knob right there it got a lot more heavier sounding you know what I'm saying and of course you got your tone and your saturation this right here gives you your uh, gives your 808 that that distorted sound that spiky sound I guess you can call it and then this right here was the tone of it but when you put that definition on there it's either a light sound or a heavy sound that makes it and that's what you want it's that heavy sound at the end of, at the, end of the day because that's what that 808 is supposed to do it's supposed to give you that bump that boom you know what I mean so that's pretty much it you know what I'm saying just to let you know hey comparison to third party to in in house plug-in this in-house plug-in sounds damn good you know what I'm saying for it to be from native instruments um, just I got headphones in and I'm hearing a, a, a hell of a difference you know what I'm saying so so I play with the, uh, the settings man and make sure you add some of this this ear candy to your drums you know what I'm saying they'll make a hell of a difference in your beat at the end of the day don't forget this is your guy King David I have the plug till next time peace